So at 20, CITSI 2017, we're updating the results for the development of the IDO inhibitor BMS986205, both as a monotherapy, but then in combination with nivolumab. And everyone will be aware and remember that the IDO pathway is an important uh, immunosuppressive pathway that's upregulated in the context of a productive interferon gamma-associated tumor microenvironment. And we initially thought of that as PDL1 alone, but we're learning more that m most often when PDL1 is upregulated, IDO gets upregulated as well and can act as a secondary immunologic or uh, metabolomic checkpoint to slow down T cells even if you block PD-1. So there's a lot of interest in combining these approaches to augment immunotherapy. And other companies have brought forward molecules. Now this molecule is being brought to phase one. What we observe in our study is that we can dose escalate BMS 986205, which is an oral pill, and combine it with nivolumab with very little in the way of side effects. In fact, we don't see any increase in toxicity relative to what we see with nivolumab alone. We'll also be describing the results of some initial expansion cohorts in cervical and bladder cancer, which uh, are single arm studies, but suggest that the activity of this combination might be greater than anti-PD-1 antibodies alone. So it's quite exciting because then a future we could think about would be combination immunotherapy, which increases the efficacy but does not increase the toxicity, which is currently our major limitation of CTLA-4 and PD-1 combination immunotherapy.